In tonight's Safe and Secure, a past Robles woman is warning others after losing her life's savings in a social security phone scam. It's a scam authorities say is becoming all too common. KSBY's Melissa Newman joins us in the studio with how to protect yourself and your loved ones from becoming a victim. Richard, people across the U.S. have lost over $10 million in the last year alone from these social security phone scams. And while there are warning signs, this past Robles woman says the scammers use the fear of jail to get her to give over her money. I'm sitting right here and the phone call came and devastated my life. Lena Callery was about to leave for work Monday morning when someone called saying her social security number was involved in a money laundering scheme. And if she hung up, she could go to jail. I kind of freaked out not thinking that this is a scam, which I wish I would have thought that. They had me give them the Paso Police's phone number. So when I did that, they said don't answer the phone unless it's this number. Callery says the scammers replicated the number for the Pass Robles Police Department and called her back with someone pretending to be an officer, telling her to take out her money and create a digital wallet on Target gift cards. And that if I pulled the money out of the bank, they would put it in that wallet and two gentlemen would come tomorrow and write me a check, take me to the bank to open an account and um, I could get back to my life. But no one ever came and Calorie realized she made a mistake worth $50,000. The San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Office says anyone asking for gift cards or wire transfers over the phone is a major red flag. So that's not a method of payment that we would ever ask for, especially over the phone. Any type of payment issues should be done in person or you should get some notification through mail. And the sheriff's office adds if law enforcement ever had to get a hold of you, they would contact you by mail. They say you can always call them to find out if you think you have a suspicious warrant out for your arrest. In the studio, Melissa Newman, KSBY News. All right, Melissa, thank you. The San Luis Obispo County Sheriff's Office says these crimes are extremely difficult to prosecute because gift cards and wire transfers are hard to trace. The woman does not know if she will be able to get her money back.